Hello friends and welcome. I have to admit I feel a bit rusty. It's been about a month since I've actually recorded a video and the reason for that is behind me. As you can see there's a door that is a different color than it used to be and we basically moved out of our new place for a month while the entire, well almost the entire place was painted. Cabinets, cupboards, doors, walls, you name it. So it's great to be back and be with you. Every time we place an online order for a beauty product, even if that product is highly rated, we just can't be sure how it will work for those of us with mature skin. Perhaps like me, when you place that order, you have your fingers crossed and sent it off with a hope and a prayer. Well, fortunately, I've had a winning streak recently and I've ended up with eight products I'm really crazy about, including two skincare products and a foundation that really surprised me. And the last item I'll be sharing is a great problem solver for an issue that really frustrated me and which I'm sure frustrates many of you as well. So you'll definitely want to stick with me till the end. If you're stopping by this channel for the first time, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you. This channel is all about helping those of us over 50 feel supported, celebrated, and visible by focusing on the beauty tips, techniques, and products that make the biggest difference for us at this stage of our lives, along with occasional forays into fashion and health and wellness. So if this focus is something that resonates with you, please subscribe before you leave today. Now on to today's topic. The first two products I'll be sharing with you today have recently become regulars in my skincare regimen. And it's saying a lot that I've revised my skincare routine because I've been very happy with the skincare routine I've had in place for the last couple of years. But if you have dry skin as I do or combination skin, you'll love these first two products. And as always, I've listed all the products that I'll be talking about today, along with links in the description box below. Well, in well, February, I received a very impressive email from the founder and CEO of a Swedish skincare company called Numi Stockholm, which was founded in 2019. Well, as you might imagine, as a YouTuber, I often receive mass marketing emails from representatives of companies, but most of these emails are providing information on products that are totally unrelated to the content of this channel. So often I'm just shaking my head in disbelief when I read them. And when I do receive emails from companies representing beauty products, these products are often not ones that would be of particular interest to those of us with mature skin. But it was clear that this beauty company founder and CEO, whose name is Tindra, by the way, had done her homework because she clearly shares a commitment to empowering individuals as they age, since her company specializes in creating skincare and beauty products designed specifically for the needs of mature skin. And she also has a powerful story that I don't think she'd mind my sharing. A diagnosis of stage three melanoma made her realize how important it is to pay attention to everything that went into and onto her body. And she made it her mission to only use natural and organic ingredients in every aspect of her life. In Sweden, the natural flora produces some of the earth's most antioxidant rich berries and plants due to the harsh ever-changing seasons. She envisioned and now has created products with only wild harvested Scandinavian ingredients that are free from synthetic chemicals and unnecessary filler ingredients such as water. And these products are only made in small fresh batches and never sold in stores where they can remain on shelves for months. The two products of her dreams are the two products that Tindra sent to me, and I've been using and loving them for the past two months. The first one is her Birch Tech Hybrid Serum Cream Concentrate. Now, this may sound a little bit odd, but I really look forward to applying this product each night because it absolutely feels like I'm applying silk on my skin. It's a pressed serum that acts as an eye cream and a fast absorbing moisturizer in one. And I love a good multitasker, as many of you know. It contains over 250 cold pressed seeds of Swedish cloudberries and lingonberries, along with extracts of Nordic chaga, rose root, and 55% birch sap. There are no colorants, perfume, parabens, water, or toxic additives or chemicals. 
But let's get to the most important part, the results that I saw. Well, I definitely did see results, and surprisingly, only after a few days of use. Not only did my skin feel softer, but it definitely reduced the appearance of fine lines under my eyes and along my cheekbones. And my regret is that I did not take before pictures. And my skin now definitely looks and feels plumper and tighter. The second Numi Stockholm product I'm using is their Wild Blue Day and Night Facial Oil. In the past, some facial oils have caused my skin to break out, so I was a little hesitant to use this product, but I was so impressed with the Birch Tech Hybrid Serum that I decided to give it a go. This product is made out of over 200 Nordic blueberry seeds to nourish, protect, and hydrate mature skin. It beautifully plumps and hydrates the skin and helps provide a gorgeous radiance. It can be used twice daily and I love applying it after my moisturizer in the morning because it gives my skin a lovely glow. At night, I apply it after the Birch Tech Hybrid Serum. I will absolutely keep using these two products and highly recommend them. And by the way, Tindra was kind enough to provide a discount code which you'll find in the description box along with a link. Now on to the next product, eyeshadow, which I have really been looking forward to trying, as you might imagine. It's the new to me, at least, Yucca eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona. Even though these colors are not colors that I wear often, I was really impressed by how unique the color story of this 15 pan palette is. The acacia shade is a really unusual yellow green, and there's also a pretty unusual neon yellow green called Camu Camu. Let me swatch these for you. I definitely don't have shades like this anywhere else in my eyeshadow collection. In addition, there are two really beautiful green shades, Willow and Calathea, which were really difficult for me to resist, and obviously I didn't resist. Calathea is on top and Willow is beneath it. But even with these shades, there are quite a few wearable neutral shades that aren't bright and colorful, so you can definitely create some lovely neutral matte looks with this palette. And it's really quite a versatile palette due to the range of light, medium, and deeper shades. But what really sealed the deal for my decision to purchase this palette was the fact that we lived in the Southwest for the past eight years. Yucca plants are primarily native to the American Southwest and Mexico, and a piece of my heart will always love that part of this country. So let's go ahead and create a couple of different looks with this palette. The first look I'm gonna create is going to be a very wearable, neutral look. I'm going to start off with the shade Valley in the Crease. That is a really interesting shade because it has a warmth to it which you do not usually find in this kind of shade. You can really see a little bit of a yellow undertone, I think. Then I'm going to take this deeper shade called Flax and put it on the outer corner of my eye and the outer part of my crease. And for this, I'm using a refer number 13. I like the size of this brush for this kind of detail work on the eye area. And as you can see, you do not need much. This is really highly pigmented. Now I'm going to take this shade called Tipu and put it across my lid. And I'm going to mix in a little bit of this shade called Fushi, which I'm probably not pronouncing correctly. So as you can see, it's a very simple, warm eyeshadow look. I'm going to be a little bit bolder and more daring with the other eye. I'm going to start off with a lighter color called Fushi on the lid and then apply Isla on the outer part and I think it's Ixla, I-X-L-A. And I definitely need my glasses to check that out. Oh, it's I-X-I-A. <laughs> so I'm starting off with Fushi. I really like this very light color. And then I'm going deeper with Ixia. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that into the crease. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to take this very light neon camu camu on the inner part of my lid. 
provides a nice spectrum of color there from bright to sort of medium to a little bit darker. And then going with a little bit more of Ixia over here. Now it comes the fun part. I'm going to add a little bit green to the outer corner and the outer lid. Take Willow and I'm just going to pat it on. I found that patting on Natasha Denona's shadows often works best. And then blending. Why, wow, you couldn't be any more southwest than this, believe me. And this is a pretty pigmented color, so I'm just going to go in a little bit more. Not too much, just a touch. And then some blending. Add a little bit more of Camo Camo to this part. And I want to make sure that they blend seamlessly into each other. So for that, I'm going to just take a flat brush and tap the edges. This is a number two refer Let's... brush. Okay, I think I'm done. Let's take a close-up look at these two eyes. What I love most about this next product is that it can be used with or without makeup and gives my mature skin a lovely, healthy glow. It's called the Beautiful Primer and it's from the clean beauty brand Care Weiss. Since this is a water-based primer and the foundation that I'll next be applying is a silicone-based and sometimes water-based and silicone-based products don't always play well together, I'm going to apply the Care Weiss Primer on one side of my face and a silicone-based primer, Elf's Liquid Poreless Putty Primer, on the other side of my face. So this is the Care Weiss product. And you can, you can see how glowy it is. It does tone down after a bit, whoop, does tone down after a bit, but it is pretty glowy and it, it really does look beautiful on its own. Feels really wonderful too because it has skincare ingredients in it. That is glowy. And here is the elf product I'm going to put on the other side. I always like to shake any kind of liquid product. This primer feels so good on the face. It doesn't feel terribly dimethicone-y, which isn't a word, but I think you know what I mean. On my forehead as well, and my nose. I didn't really want glow on my nose. Okay, I think you can see that this does not have any glow, and we've got quite a bit of glow going on with the Care Weiss Primer. As I mentioned earlier, this foundation really surprised me in a good way. It's a good apple foundation from KVD. It's a full coverage serum foundation that creates a natural finish. And although it's described as a foundation that works well on combination and oily skin, it will definitely work on dry skin like mine with the right skin prep and moisturizer underneath. It's both very long wearing and lightweight, which is not an easy combination to pull off. And if you live in a humid climate, this may be the ideal foundation for you since it really controls shine and stands up to heat. It also comes in a whopping 40 shades, so it's pretty darn easy to find a good color match. I've come to really love how this foundation looks on my skin. But since it's a natural finish, and I definitely love some glow to my skin, I'm going to mix into it some of the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion in the shade 901 Fair and apply it on the side of my face where I applied the e.l.f. primer. First, I'm going to apply it over the Care Weiss primer, since I already have some glow going on with this side. So here's the KVD Good Apple Foundation over the Kier Weiss Primer. And I think you can see that that coverage is pretty darn flawless. Now on the other side, I'm gonna mix in with the KVD Foundation some of my L'Oreal Lumi Glotion to get some glow on that side of my face. I'm just mixing them together on the back of my hand and then we'll apply. All right, let's see if we can notice any difference between these two sides of my face. Initially, I'm not seeing much, I have to confess. So this is the side with the Lumi Glotion along with the KVD Good Apple Foundation. And this is the side with the Care Weiss Beautiful Primer before applying the Good Apple KVD Foundation. I'm seeing
seen about the same amount of radiance, I think, which I like. Now I'm going to go ahead and head off camera and apply my eyeliner, mascara, and the rest of my makeup, and then I'll be right back to talk about the last two products that I'm absolutely loving. All right, let me quickly share with you the products that I applied off camera. For eyeliner, I used the eyeshadow shades Flax and Willow from the Yucca Eyeshadow Palette, and Tower 28 and Clinique Bottom Lash Mascaras were my two mascaras. So for eyeshadow, I combined Flax's Deeper Brown and also Willow on the opposite side on the same row, which is the deep green, and my Tower 28 Mascara and Clinique Mascara. My corrector was the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector, and my concealer was the High Glam Concealer from Natasha Denona. Tara from M Cosmetics was my contour, and blush and highlighter were from the Natasha Denona My Dream Cheek Trio Palette, along with the Rare Beauty Neutral Cream Blush. And here's the Rare Beauty Nearly Neutral Blush Cream. And on my lips, I first applied Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Lip Liner, followed by two Lip Lock Color Serums from Doll 10 in the shades Buff Babe and Spell on You. And I finished off the look with a Lawless Lip Gloss in the shade Presh. Well, as you know, these certainly aren't my normal lip colors, but I needed a neutral blush and a neutral lip color to go along with the eyeshadow. The next product I'm crazy about is my newest shade of Say Beauty's Glow Sculpt Cream Blush. During the Sephora sale, I purchased this blush in the color Mauve Glow, but I love mixing it with the shade Pink Glow. Let me show you these shades separately and then mix together. So this is the mauve glow, underneath it is the pink glow, and then at the very bottom, the two colors mixed together. The reason I'm not wearing these colors today is that they don't work as well with the warmer eyeshadow colors I'm wearing as the more neutral blush I applied earlier. And the last product I wanna share with you today is a huge problem solver. Does anyone else really dislike the feeling of water dripping down your wrists and arms when you're washing your face? Well, you may already know about the product that solves this problem, but for some reason, I had never heard of it until a couple of months ago. Sometimes I really wonder if I live in a cave. Well, this product is called by a variety of names, including a wrist scrunchie, a wrist sponge, or a wrist towel. But whatever you call it, it's an ingenious little product that really works. All you do is put it on your wrist and any water that drips down goes into this and doesn't go any further. It's fantastic. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if so, I'd so appreciate it if you'd tap that thumbs up icon to let YouTube know. And until we see each other again, I wish you good health and happiness, and I hope you have a really fabulous rest of your day. Take care.